This here is the microphone that I have been using for my tutorials for a couple of years now. It's actually a microphone I bought over 15 years ago back when I was in high school for about $20. And it's a nice microphone. You may have realized in some of my recent tutorials that there is um, some static and noise in the background. And that, that isn't necessarily directly due to this mic. Um, it's more due to the fact that I accidentally checked boost mic audio in my audio settings, which with the, at least with this mic, always cause static and distortion for me. And I did that by accident, and I kind of recorded a whole series like that before I realized it. But I still have gotten complaints many times in the past about this mic, about the audio being extremely low on it. Um, and normally when I talk into it, I gotta talk into it, I gotta have my mouth right up on it. The further away I get, it's, it doesn't pick up, which is nice, it doesn't pick up a lot of background noise from my house. Um, but I had a viewer donate money to my website, and one of his requests was that I get a new mic. So I did, I upgraded, and the audio you're hearing right now is actually from that mic. And it's probably about two to three feet away from me right now, and uh, looking at the screen here, it looks like it's recording fairly well, so this is kind of a test for it. Let me move this up out of the way. I also have a big old stand for that, where this one came with a little tiny tripod right here. It is a CAD U37, and it's a USB mic. One of the issues I also have with this mic is it has a very long cable. It's It's got to be 15 feet long at least, and it's wrapped around the pole here. It goes down by my power supply, and I'm sure that causes a lot of interference as well. Um, hopefully the audio from this mic is sounding good right now. Uh, it's got some settings here on the mic, uh, so I, if it's a little loud, I can turn it down like this. Um, Looking at the screen, it doesn't look like it's much lower. In fact, it still looks like I'm clipping. Hopefully the audio is sounding okay right now. Um, and uh, so let me know what you think. Do you, do you think the audio in this video is sounding good? I mean, does it sound better when I'm up close? It, looking at the screen, it looks like this is a little too loud. Uh, but normally I'll probably have it here on my desk, which is nice because this mic's usually in my way and I can't see what I'm typing when I'm doing tutorials with this one. I should be able to. So, I, like right now, this is kind of far away. I'll actually probably be about this far away when I'm actually doing tutorials. So, uh, I want to thank um, Dave Fuller. Dave Fuller from Australia. He's the one that donated the money and specifically asked me for to get a new mic, as well as a few other things he's asked for in tutorials, which will be coming up in the near future. Some IR remote control stuff. Um, so again, let me know what you think about the audio in this video. Hopefully it sounds pretty good. Um, hopefully better than the audio on my camera here, which isn't that great, and hopefully better than my old mic. Um, one of my favorite things about this mic so far is this light right here that's flashing. It's steady blue when the mic is plugged in. When I'm recording, it starts flashing. There have been times in the past where I'm recording a tutorial and I accidentally selected the wrong audio input. I record a whole tutorial and then realize I don't have any audio. With this, I know that it's recording. If for some reason I'm recording a tutorial and that's not blinking, I know to stop and check my audio. So I, that's probably my favorite thing about it so far is the fact that it has uh, that little blue flashing light on it to indicate that uh, I'm recording. So that's a little update, a little test. I hope this is sounding good. Um, Another thing I want to mention briefly here, but I'll have more on in the very near future, is that I'm going to be changing things up here in the near future. I will still continue, hopefully, to be doing tutorial videos, um, but I'm going to try one of those services you've probably heard other YouTubers talking about. I'm going to try uh, Patreon, which is a place where, if you like my videos, you can go and support my videos by choosing a monthly... Um, you know, amount that you want to sponsor me through, and there's different rewards. It's kind of like an ongoing Kickstarter. And uh, what you'll get with these is a lot more interaction from me. Uh, as you know, I've mentioned in the past, I really hate uh, talking to people through YouTube comments. It's not a very good way to communicate with people. Um, but with this, with the Patreon, um, there'll be rewards where uh, you get early access to videos would be one of the lower ones. You get to download the videos without ads ahead of time. So I'm going to be doing like monthly topics, you'll be able to get all the videos at the beginning of the month if you want. And I'm assuming I'm thinking I'm going to do an AUG format, 
you can download them and keep them and do whatever you want with them. All the videos I do will still always be under a Creative Commons license. Um, and then later on will be uploaded to YouTube for the general uh, population. Um, but as a supporter, you get them early on. You also get access, early access to scripts. I also hope to do videos other than tutorials where uh, talk videos where maybe I'll talk to somebody else who is in uh, the computer field and so you can get different views and I can get different views and we can discuss stuff. It's so kind of like talk videos. I'll be doing those as well. You get early access to those. There'll be rewards where you get to vote each month, month what you want the next month's topic to be. So you'll definitely have a lot more input. Uh, there'll be um, rewards where if you get that level of reward each month I'll have a Google Hangout and you'll get an invite to it so you can give me your input and ask me questions. So if this is successful I'll continue to be doing uploading videos similar to what I am now except for changing up and doing monthly topics most likely. Um, because right now I need to either do something else to produce some money from these videos or cut back extremely on the amount that I make. Uh, so think about that. I'll have more information about that soon. There'll be, you know, for a few dollars a month you can have uh, more interaction with me, access to the videos for download without ads, um, and, and you'll just be supporting me. And we'll also have goals of things that when I reach certain goals, I'll buy certain things that will help with the videos. Uh, not just things like microphones, but things I'll do tutorials on, like maybe 3D printers. And as I've mentioned in the past, I want to do more things on, on hardware. I already have some hardware videos coming up. Uh, one of the little devices I bought uh, recently uh, through donations from you guys is a uh, credit card magnet strip reader that you can read um, driver's licenses and and credit cards with. So lots of things going to be changing in the next couple months. I'll have more videos up soon talking about that. Once again, thank you David Fuller for the new microphone. Uh, I'm hoping it's sounding good right now because I'm liking the design and that I don't have to put my mouth right on the microphone when I'm talking and it's not in my way when I'm typing. So. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for those who have supported me in the past. I hope you continue to support me in the future. And um, those who will, will have a lot more interaction with me. Um, so, as always, I hope that you have a great day.